It's not a secret that the manual transmissions are going away in cars. Even in a country like India, where manual transmissions used to be the de facto choice of many, an overwhelming majority of people are gravitating towards automatic transmission cars these days. It has even become a factor in the success of the car itself. It's not just India. Many other countries are witnessing the same shift towards automatic transmissions. But that's not the case in the world of motorcycles. The manual transmission is still the golden standard in motorcycles, mainly due to the space constraints and the lack of innovation. But beyond all that, it's the reluctance of riders to adopt this new technology is the reason why automatic transmissions did not take root. And if it wasn't for Honda, we wouldn't be having any automatic transmission from motorcycles. Honda is the only motorcycle manufacturer still pushing the option of fully automatic dual-clutch transmissions for two-wheelers, and it's slowly but steadily gaining popularity. In last few years, customers took the DCT option on 45% of Africa Twins, 52% of NC750Xs, and 67% of Gold Wings sold in Europe. But it takes away the clutch lever from the left handlebar, as well as the gear lever from the left foot. And while that's just fine and dandy for some riders, but for others including me, the idea of a clutchless motorcycle just feels wrong. And to convince riders like that, Honda has now introduced a cutting-edge feature known as the E-Clutch. This innovative system is customizable, allowing riders to opt for traditional clutch and shifting or engage the E-Clutch. When the E-Clutch is active, the rider simply needs to manipulate the shift lever and throttle even during acceleration from a standstill or when coming to a stop. The E-clutch automates the operation of a conventional clutch, streamlining the riding experience. With the engine running, the rider can smoothly shift into first gear by clicking the shift pedal. The E-clutch achieves this by initially disengaging the clutch and then engaging first gear. The combination of throttle input and E-clutch results in a seamless stall-free engagement allowing the rider to smoothly accelerate. Transitioning to second gear is just as effortless. By clicking the lever to second, the E-clutch facilitates the process by disengaging the clutch, shifting to second gear, and then re-engaging the clutch, replicating the finesse of an experienced rider. The same user-friendly mechanism applies to downshifts, ensuring a hassle-free and efficient riding experience. This dual functionality provides riders with the flexibility to choose between traditional and automated clutch operation based on their preferences. The rider can control the dynamic changes in engine sound while shifting gears without needing to handle the clutch. The Honda E-Clutch handles the engagement and disengagement of the clutch by analyzing various parameters, such as vehicle speed, throttle opening angle, engine RPM, pressure on the shift pedal, clutch motor reduction gear angle, engine counter shaft speed, and gear position. An actuator unit housing two motors inside the right-hand engine cover operates the clutch. This system not only manages the clutch, but also regulates the engine's ignition timing and fuel injection during clutch operations. The outcome is a seamless and jolt-free shifting experience in all riding scenarios. The E-Clutch system comprises computer logic and control software, along with two compact electric motors that operate a gear train. This gear train rotates a sector gear responsible for managing clutch engagement with a total weight specified at 2 kg. It's worth mentioning that E-Clutch offers the flexibility to be turned off, allowing the rider to assume complete control of the driveline in a purely traditional manner. For now, Honda is implementing this technology in the CBR650R and CB650R motorcycles. In the future, we can expect this technology to trickle down to more affordable models. So, what do you guys think? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. And as always, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Or if you loved it, please consider subscribing to the channel. See you guys next time. Ride safe.